What good is sitting alone in your room? Come drink your life away. Come have a Cabernet, old chum. Come have a Cabernet. Welcome to Broadway Bites, where one of us can cook, neither of us can sing, so obviously we are the most qualified people for this show. Today is Cabaret, or Cabernet. Cabernet. Crepes. We're making what are we making? Cabernet crepes. We're having wine with breakfast, but instead of just pairing wine with breakfast, we are putting wine in pancakes. This is not a crepe, but this is what I had. Do we need a bowl? Bowl. Uh, Sally bowl. Sally bowl hat. Sally bowl oh, hat. Oh, it's the chili hat dance. It's, um, the, it's the army hat the dance. army hat dance. Cabaret is a... I wasn't supposed to add this yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start here. Here I was thinking we got something on the first take and I was like, maybe this time it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. <laughs> While Aaron figures out whatever's happening over here, um, Cabaret is a musical that was made in 1966 by John Candor and Fred Ebb. The musical is based off a play called I Am Camera, which was based off a book which was called The Berlin Stories. The musical keeps that tone. It's set in 1930-31 Berlin. It's about this gentleman coming to Berlin, meeting a character named Sally Bowles, who is a dancer and singer at the Kit Kat Club. There's a character who's the MC, reflective of the um, ignorance leading into Nazi Germany. So you know. So much ignorance. Super happy fun times. And avoidance. Super happy fun times. Ignoring things and pretending they go away. Here, like, life is beautiful. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have added margarine and egg to... Margarine I'm, and I'm egg. I'm doing nothing. We need one and three quarter cups of cold water, except half of that's going to be wine. Just wine. We're turning water into wine? It's a USA wine. We tried to find a German wine. But apparently our liquor store We also doesn't. don't plan for things like this, so if we had a week instead we of 24 hours... Yesterday. We would, um, maybe we would have found something. But then we were like, it's USA, like one of the characters. I say one of the characters because the musical, uh, the main character of Cliff is from the US, and in the movie Sally Bowles is from the U.S., so they trade these. Why are you drinking all the wine? Oh, and now it's purple. I have no idea what's happening with my lips, but it doesn't matter because the lipstick I'm wearing is called Wine With Everything. I know. How many Tonys do you think it got? All of them. Because <laughs> I don't look at my nose. Oh, Tonys. I'm thinking Oscars. You're yeah. talking about I'm stage talking play. 1967 musical None. stage play. Zero. One. <laughs> four. Joel Grey. You're wrong, right? <laughs> they got uh, eight, and they were nominated for 11. Okay, so they did really well at the Yay. 1967 Tony Awards. Um, you're right, Joel Grey did get a Tony. Why? Because Joel Grey. Because Joel Grey. Because Joel he was Grey. the MC. We have some batter happening. Batter, batter, batter. Batter, batter, batter. Batter, 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 batter. Sound the same when it's not money. Batter makes the world go around. Go around the world. Go around the world. Go around. Pancakes make the world go around. That squid cheese squelchy sound. Bada 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 bada. It was made into a film in 1972, directed by Bob Fosse. It always blows my mind that Fosse wasn't involved in the actual stage play, which I'm like, it's the most fosse -esque. It's not gonna make them better. But why? But why? So Bob Fosse came on board for the movie to direct and do the choreography for. The movie has Liza Minnelli as Sally Bowles, Michael York as Brian, and then Joel Grey came on as the only person from the original Broadway cast to also be in the movie, still as the MC. And the three of them are amazing in it, and they decided for the plot of the movie to go back to the original book and actually pull way more from the original than the stage production. They still had Candor and Ebb on board, so mm -hmm. Candor and Ebb, who made the play, were like, yeah, we're cool with this, we're gonna write new songs, we're gonna cut songs, and they were... It wasn't like bastardizing the musical. Okay, shall I attempt a crepe, even though this is not... Sure. 
Did you actually like a pie make a crepe? Yes, I did. Okay. And this is not how oh. to make a crepe. <laughs> We're calling them German pancakes, but there's not. Wow. Oh, they that? turn purple. Ooh. Wine turns black when you cook it. How many um, Oscars do you think it won? All of them. Almost. More than The Godfather. It won 8 out of 10 Academy Awards that it was nomin nominated for, and it was the same year as The Godfather, so, you know, that was a thing they expected nothing to win in. So it won almost every category it was nominated in. Liza Minnelli for Best Actress, Joel Grey for Best Actor, Fosse for Directing. It won all of those except Best Picture because Godfather. The Godfather. <laughs> So it holds the record for the most Academy Awards won without winning Best Picture. Yes, we have both seen stage production yep. and film. Personally, I prefer the film. I find it's a tighter knit story and when you add Fosse's flair, not just for choreography, but the lighting and the sound and the editing, it's brilliant in subtle ways that you can't that don't come across easily on stage. The stage musical is still very, very good, and it has been running for decades. It's doing their 50th anniversary national tour right now. Since the original, there's always been debate of do they put the songs that were made for the movie in the play version, or do they cut ones? And pretty much every production is completely different, which makes it interesting. You can't just say, yeah, I've seen it on stage, because it's like, but what did you see on yeah. stage? Did you see these 12 songs or these 8 songs? Yeah. Or was this song in it with the other songs or not? And like the choreography is different yeah. and unlike something like West Side Story where the choreography is copyrighted, it's part like you know what you're getting pretty much and I guess for directors you, you can only do so much with it whereas Cabaret is pretty open, you have the basics and then you can merge, meld however you want, but there are way more principal characters in the stage production. There's like another eight songs that were in the original that aren't in the movie because they cut it because it's characters that aren't in the movie. The characters themselves are completely different. Like I said, Cliff is Brian, Brian. in the movie and Cliff plays American and he's a writer. And in the movie, she's from Oxford and she teaches <laughs> English as a second language. Yeah. Crepes are that almost happening. Crepes! In the movie, there's also more focus on the Kit Kat Club as a metaphor for early Germany. Again, where I feel I connect with it more is that the Kit Kat Club is a character in and of itself. What's happening at the club mirrors on what's happening outside of the club. Crepes are happening. I have done nothing to help. Crepes to crepes, so... Oh. But you're actually working, I don't understand. I know. So, before we break our luck, drink break! Glühwein! 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 We've been doing things because we planned ahead. Because it takes two hours it to took make. took two hours to make. It's a mulled German wine. It's a traditional Christmas drink, but you know, I was mildly considering making the drink that she makes in the movie, which is one raw egg and two shots of Worcestershire oh, sauce, no. and then I thought, I don't want to drink that. As garnish, we have a Kit Kat bar for the Kit Kat Club, because pun. Not sponsored! Wine with orange and lime and cinnamon and cloves and fennel and nutmeg and vanilla bean and sugar. We put more and effort into this than the crepes. But it took two hours and we didn't want to do that. It is orangey. Ooh. Oh, that's like ten flavors happening. I know. Wow! It's like apple cider, but there's a lot of orange, and then there's wine. Glühwein! I'm drinking this way too fast, but it's really good. Okay, crepes with our wine. I was not <laughs> expecting the crepes to be crepes, but they turned into crepes. They creped! Holy crepe. crepe! Holy crepe! Well, metaphor this. They look a little bit like death and horrible, horrible things, because they kind of turn black instead of purple. Red wine turns black when you cook But it. we're going to pretend everything's okay with nice, Happy frivolous white supremacy. <laughs> and pretend it's all okay with strawberries on top. Nothing is happening that you should concern your tiny little brains with. Want a chocolate? Go to Kit the Kit, Kit Kat, Kat Club. Club. Everything's fine there. Kit Kat Club. Their life is beautiful. The girls, they are beautiful. 
Leave your troubles outside, aka Nazism. Because who cares? It's not gonna be a problem down the road in a couple years. Everything is fine. Look, more wine. Wine! It looks a bit like blood, that's okay. <laughs> Ignore the blood in the streets. <laughs> Ignore the blood. Everything is fine. There's whipped cream, guys. Look. Look. Germany is fine. <laughs> America is fine. Russia is fine. <laughs> Every Eat your crepes. <laughs> uh, guys, the world sucks. Numb? I can't cut into the fascist regime. <laughs> Germans thick like leather. <laughs> Two, two pancakes. <laughs> two pancakes. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only crepe. Yeah! I don't taste the wine in the pancakes, mm -hmm. but they're a lovely shade of death. And then you <gasps> drizzle some of the, the glue vine on top, and it's like Christmas! Everything is happy! Takeaway. There is a lot more to cabaret than what I we talked about today. And such, an essay for you could fun. write multiple essays for fun. I highly recommend seeing the film if you can't find a stage play near you. It is so good and it holds up and given the current political stance, it's terrifying how similar parallel it is. Things are in the Don't worry. It doesn't involve me. There's a line that Sally Bowles has in the play, I think. I don't think it made it into the movie. movie. Her and Cliff in a play are talking. And he's basically like, why aren't you upset by what's happening? And she's like, politics, what does that have to do with us? And that's concerning because you see that a lot right now. Today. At the window. Who's there? Hunger. Hunger. Ooh. Um, again, we've surprised ourselves. It's because I didn't touch the food this time. <laughs> if you noticed, I did nothing. I talked and didn't touch any of this, so it's actually good. Good night. This is like better than I thought this was gonna be. Christmas meal. Look at that. Nom nom. You could like serve this in a restaurant. Open up a restaurant in Santa Fe. Uh, and Shane. <laughs>